Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. I'm making this Redbubble automation video today because we actually got an update uh, email, at least I did, from the bots and apps company saying that they updated the tool. Specifically, they were talking about the update that you can now favorite different designs from different angles. And I'll kind of show you what that is and how to use it in today's video. So for those who don't know, company called bots and apps .com. they create a lot of different applications a lot of different tools they have tiktok tool they have twitter instagram they have a whole bunch of stuff so um basically what we can do based on the update for the Redbubble automation tool is we can automate favorites on different spectrums different angles i'll show you what i mean the Redbubble favorite tool basically works on this concept called reciprocal favoring. Just simply put, the more you favor other people's work, the higher chance you get at people favoriting your work. Um, based on a few updates with Google, we had a hard time doing that with uh, certain aspects. So I'll show you guys what I mean. If I search for the keyword tiger on Redbubble here, you can see here I can favorite easily with the old tool the most relevant section but a lot of the times the most relevant section is getting a lot of attention already and sometimes you'd have to go into smaller niches to get people's attention well now what you can do is you don't have to go to the most relevant you could just simply click on the newest and the newest will show all the designs that have been recently uploaded in the last few minutes you can see I tested this and I was favoriting other people's works but I'll show you this with a niche that I didn't test so I'll type in the keyword monster for example and I'll go here to the newest and I'll favorite that kind of work so I'll just show you guys here so we're at the newest section I'll open up the tool and I will get it going so uh, the like quantity let's say I want to do 20 likes I want to do a delay of one to three seconds just for the sake of the video and I'm gonna hit do the like button and what it's doing is it's literally favoriting work as you could see every one to three seconds in that specific category while it's doing what it's doing we'll just sit here and talk for a second um, the reason why this benefits us or the reason why it makes a big difference is because these guys who have recently uploaded a design we're talking in the last few seconds the last few minutes these guys are are on high alert almost right they're aware of what's going on they're uploading their designs and when you favorite their work in just a few seconds or a few minutes or even a few hours you're getting their attention they're gonna find out and a lot of the times when you're a designer like me you anybody else we get a lot of the times guys we 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 get intrigued we click on that person's account we want to see who on earth is interacting with us who 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 finds our work cool who who likes our work and when they and when we get these favorites right and it just completed the 20 favorites but we could see here you could see here it just did a bunch of them when we get these favorites guys um what we're doing is we're boosting up our chance to rank you guys know that with the redbubble algorithm there's three main components that contribute to getting ranked right especially when we're talking about the default view of the most relevant because whenever somebody searches something on redbubble it by default shows most relevant right that default view is it, excuse me what chooses what's being ranked is three things the first component is the keyword existence or keyword relevancy meaning every, when i type in the keyword mo monster here that keyword monster has to be seen in every design right in the tags if it's not in the tags it's just not going to be ranked here these 512,000 results have to include the keyword monster somewhere in their tags right that's the first thing the second thing is number of sales um, if if the design is deemed highly relevant, right, and it has a certain amount of sales, then it's going to rank higher. And then lastly is favorites. So favorites is the number of favorites it has. And I could just give you an example. I'm willing to bet that this design has more favorites than, you know, if I scroll to, let's say, page five. Let's just go to, like, page two. Actually, you know, let's go to page five. Why not? Let's go to page five, right? And let me just show you, I'm willing to bet that that design that I just showed you has more favorites than this design, for example, right? And that makes sense. Redbubble is not going to include the favoriting feature if it wasn't important, right? Getting favorites is 100% important because it's indicative of how much desirability is behind your product. Products that are desired more get shown to more people. Get shown to more people, that means you get more traffic. The more traffic you get, the more sales you get. 
Obviously, there's one caveat to that. The one caveat is it doesn't matter how much your work gets seen. If it's not attractive, it's not going to be bought. Point blank period. We all get into Redbubble for one reason. It's not because we love the art. It's because we want to make money. Like, like, let's just be honest with ourselves. We want to make money. So if the design is not attractive, it doesn't make money. So keep that as a general rule. Whenever you guys are using tools like this that are cheat codes and they make your life easier and they make more help you make more money, just keep in mind the, the people who are buying, they're people. They're not robots. They have to look at your product and they have to actually enjoy what they're buying. They have to like what they're buying and it has to make sense to them. So just keep that in mind. A lot of the times, a lot of people will focus on tricks and hacks and software and tips, but they're not really focusing on the main core, most important component, which is the design of that of that product. Now, you guys know I created a whole course around that. Not to plug the course, but to just be upfront and honest. When I was creating these 60 designs a day and people were saying, how are you creating 60 designs a day that, that are attractive? You're probably just literally taking the same design, changing the colors. And I said, absolutely not. That's the worst thing you could do because you don't actually know if that design is successful. What's the point of creating different color variations of the design? It doesn't make sense, right? So what I did in the course was I showed people how I create 60 different designs in 30 something minutes. I think I think I created 63 designs in 34 minutes, right? And um, uh, they were all different designs in different niches, and different keywords, different categories. But I did them specifically, and I showed exactly how I did it in the course. Now, that's just the method that I use. And, and that course is, it's long. It's multiple hours long, multiple videos. You know, there's so many videos. I think over 30 videos that include not just, you know, the different uh, designs, but the, the way I set up certain, you guys will see it if you guys join the course. The people who are members, they know exactly what I'm talking about. But design is something that I have to stress because a lot of the times, you have two groups of people. You have the people who just want to produce, 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 and it's low quality. And then you have some people that that really don't produce nearly as much, but they create really, really high quality designs. But that's a problem too. Imagine if you have two really, really high quality designs, but nobody sees them, right? Like look at this design. This design is beautiful. It's from Illustrata Design. We can click on this. It's a nice design. But imagine that this was his only design, Right? He probably wouldn't be as famous or well known as he is. And and Illustrata is probably a bad example, but you look at any other person out there on Redbubble. If you open up a store today and you create a really, really beautiful design, you create only one or ten or even twenty of them. It's simply not enough to move the needle. Redbubble, unfortunately, unfortunately, is a, a game of volume. You look at the amount of designs here, 40 million. 272,000. These are increasing by the minute, guys. They're increasing by the second. You know, if you come in tomorrow and check the amount of designs, it's going to be drastically higher. You might have an extra two, three, four, five hundred thousand 500,000 more. Maybe not. Maybe maybe 100,000 more. Maybe even 50,000 more. But still, that's a lot of designs. You got to think, if you have 10, 20 designs, even 100 designs, what's 100 amongst 40 million? What's 100 amongst 50 million when it gets there? And the number of designs are only increasing. So, uh, general tips, make sure your designs are really attractive. If you're going to use an automation tool like this one, um, a little tip that I have is uh, go out there and favorite, go to the newest section. So a really good thing is go to the newest section. Sometimes you don't even have to search for a niche. You can just favorite from the newest section here. Uh, I like to search for certain niches because I actually find correlations between certain niches. Like I'll give you an example, the flower niche. Like when I type in the word flower and I favor other people's work in the newest section, I tried this after the update, I got more favorites back than when I typed in any other random keyword. Now, I don't know what it is about the flower niche. Maybe, I mean, who knows? Who knows? I, I don't know. But I like to test certain things and like to play with different certain things and I like to find different things. So um, either way, it's pretty cool. But for us, having the ability to favorite from different angles is pretty dope. It's pretty cool. So uh, that helps us get more attention from the people that I call high alert, right? Because they just uploaded. And when they upload and, and, and they check out who favorited their work, they're going to click on your account. When they click, if they just simply click and view, that's an impression. That's telling Redbubble, there are people new looking at our products. That is a statistic that we're adding to our portfolio. The algorithm is going to look at that and it's going to favorite us, even if we don't get the favorites. But let's say we do get the favorites, that's even better. 
Now, what I like to do is sometimes I don't wait for people to favorite my work back. You know what I do is since I have so many Redbubble accounts, I'll go on a different Redbubble account and I'll favorite my own work. So just to be clear, I have over 15 Redbubble accounts. And what I'll do is I'll go on account number one after I finish the work for the day on account number 10, for example, and I'll do 60 designs on account number 10 and I'll go on account number one and I'll favorite all my work on that account. Then I'll go on account number two, favorite all my work on that account again on for through account number two to 10. So now if I have two sets of likes for each post or each design, I'll go on account number eight, do the same thing. Right. And I'll randomize it every day. I won't go on this exact same account, but you kind of get my point. Um, the reason why I do that is because I can control how many favorites I'm getting. Now, you guys, the whole game with this, I've made other videos before about the this tool. So if you want to see those videos, uh, take a look in the description. They're all free videos. Um, they're here on YouTube. They're free. Look at those other videos. I, I've said certain things that I probably won't be able to repeat here because I just don't remember what I said. And you could take little gems from each video. But um, when it comes down to uh, using the tool, you want to do it in large quantities. We're talking a few hundred, few that really the more the better. You, you're not going to be hurting yourself doing the more, the, you know, more. Um, the reason why is because the more people you can reach out to is the bigger chance you have to get more attention. So that's pretty cool. I just figured I'd share that and uh, it's a little cool update and uh, I'm really excited about it and I'm going to be using it a lot. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.